The drive to the Bywater when I first returned to New Orleans after the storm is one I will never forget. Once again, I was completely uprooted amidst the mist of mental illness, and here I stood with my mangled and mismanaged self. Speeding towards the quarter, I hardly believed the destruction that spread before me. It was everywhere. Driving by Metairie on the I-10, I saw collapsed houses in the distance, and many of the stores were still boarded up. Restaurants stood empty, and there was no traffic. I looked out the car window for any sign of the brakes in the levee. I was not sure what I was looking for, but I watched a ramshackle of wood and dust and debris float by the window. As we pulled into town, the destruction rose like mountains all around me. Wood, wood was everywhere. Splintered wood with chipping paint in the bright colors of the houses in the bywater. Chipping in pinks and greens and yellows and reds rotting and brown and turning to black. Boards, wooden boards were also everywhere, splintered and scattered and strewn about. Various lengths and sizes lay tossed all over the roads, piling up into a massive mound of molding and rotting wood. Boards that once created a barrier to the elements for the families inside, now left lying in the ruin by the force of the storm and the weight of the water. In the middle of St. Claude, the wood piled so high in points that it was over my head. Mismatched sizes balancing precariously on ends. Bits of bright paint speckled throughout the various shades of brown and black, rotting, molding, discarded wood. No longer suitable to stand, splintered and smashed. Pieces of white ceiling tiles turned black from the muds and the mold. Flaky pieces of plaster crumbling like sand in the dry, but clumping like clay in the wet. Various layers and textures of plaster and ceiling. Pieces of walls scattered throughout. Painted in neutral and brights and pastels, fading away to the color of gray outside in the heat and elements. Furniture falling apart from the weight of the water. Dressers rotten and moldy stand outside of so many houses sad and lonely on the streets. Clothes spotted with black mold pop out of dresser drawers, tattered and torn and blowing in the wind. Taffeta and silk and cotton and lace. Jeans and shirts and dresses and hats. Discarded and ruined, left homeless in the streets of New Orleans. Sagging boards of chests and tables and dressers and drawers, nearly buckling under the pressure to conform and become part of this conglomeration of wood. <laughs>